Hello everybody, welcome back to Come Paint With Me. Thank you for stopping in and joining me for another video. I've taken my time this afternoon working through my colors and I'm not really sure. Oh, I, I just have a real hard time with colors. Not because I'm colorblind, it's because I'm a color idiot, I'm just going to say. And I, the what, what I have planned, I think this will work. So. I was moving them around to see if I wanted them in a different direction. I'm going to do it like this. So I have three sets of blues, three sets of purple, and three sets of pink. I'm going to do one of the 3D um, where you put the ring in and half of it's blown over it and the other half is under it and you'll see how that works. Olga Solby does those and I am hoping this is called her breakthrough series I think <laughs> um, but I'm going to give it a try and I come up with my own idea for the colors because I want them to come in as blue and change to purple and then come out pink and that doesn't mean that there can't be, you know, blue and the purple and pink and the purple or whatever. It just means that's the gradual flow of things that I want to achieve. I am going to use gold in it. Uh, naturally, I have to put some white in. So let me tell you the colors. This is um, Turquoise by Artist Loft. And I guess I should show you so you can see, but okay. And this is um, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebio. See that shine in there? That metallic should help the painting shine a little bit. This is Phalo Turquoise by Holbein. It's pretty dark. Um, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. This is Purple by Master's Touch. I think that's a, a Hobby Lobby brand if I'm not mistaken. Um, Prism Violet, Liquitex Basics. Then this is Light Magenta from Artist Loft. And this is Iridescent Violet Blue uh, from Pebio. And when you shake it up, then you can see that glow or shine in there. So that should help. <clears throat> and this is just a beautiful color, Luminous Rose by Holbein. That should brighten things up a whole lot. Now, what I am worried about is that this is really dark, the phalo turquoise. It just, this is, this is what I got right now. So let me set my bottles aside and I will um, do my uh, base my pillow paint. I have to have the this and this. Now for, let me just tell you, you know, the ring that you have to have. I don't have a giant cookie cutter and I don't have a cake ring. So I went looking through the kitchen, through the house, and I do have um, little tins and big tins too. So I thought I would use this. So I come over here and I go like this and I go, ooh, that my fingers are going to get in that. So I'm going to use either the top of this. I think I'll use the bottom because she's talking about it being, you want it to be a, a thin line. So then I can dip it in my paint. I can turn it and when I get it on here, I can turn it. So that's what I'm going to use for that. So I did uh, mix me up some a good base of the Payne's Gray. Yes, it looks very blue, but it does dry darker. I do mix with Floetrol and water. <clears throat> so, did, and Olga uses just water and paint. I'm a little leery of that. <clears throat> and I'm grateful that I can get Floetrol right now. So that's what I'm going to use. I got to remember to do my flame and 
gosh I think I'm ready I'm nervous very nervous so uh, let me uh, pause you and I'll and I'll, I'll just do it with you on camera some people appreciate it some people don't some people say eh, it's you know kind of self-explanatory if you've that's if you've done it I know when I first turned it on and I watched somebody they weren't explaining and I thought uh-oh I don't know what to do so oops I don't think I need to paint my sides but maybe I should have Okay, I went ahead and just painted the edges, just for double coverage, I guess. And then I've made plenty of paint here, I'm hoping. So I'm hoping that the paint moves freely. That's what I always have problems with, is I never have enough paint for it to move um, around on the canvas and then nothing else moves either so I'm going to save a little bit of that and I want to see how fluid it was yep it's pretty fluid okay let me get my hair dryer let's move this around putting some extra on top here so it can fall down where I can see the canvas I got a feeling I'm gonna see the canvas anyway but got to get the corners doesn't want to flow over the corners that's just par for the course I guess and then get all my little edges and I can't see this part but there okay so the base is done and it's very fluid so I don't know how I get so much paint on me that's amazing but I have gloves on so okay now let's see what we can do oh yes. oh my gosh I'm so scared let's go ahead we start out with kind of the blues the turquoise and then we're going to go into the purples and then to the pinks so my first one is a turquoise uh, And this is the iridescent green blue. And this is the phalo turquoise. I was going to look that up and see what phalo meant. Because, see, I can see that it's a different color, but it is very, very dark. I'm just going to make sure I, I think I'll do this one. Make sure I get a little bit lighter color on top there. Okay, now I'm going to go into the purples. I just went over this and I cannot remember. What I said. Oh, come on. Gosh, it looks almost pink. Mm. 
And now the pink. This is the iridescent one, so. And this is the one that gives you lots of color. My colors are disappearing up here. I see a little splatter here and there. So there we go. Got my bubbles out, I believe. Double checking, make sure there's nothing that I need to pick out. The thing I hate the most with this is the varnishing. I uh, just, I, I get it right on a couple and then boom. I lose it again. I don't understand why. Okay, I'm um, here. I go. I'm gonna blow it out. I'm gonna blow out the blue, put a little purple in it. Then I'm gonna put the ring down, and then I'm gonna blow the purple, and then put the ring down, and then blow the pink. If I got that right, <laughs> it may just be another scrape. Stay tuned. Here we go. And I'm using this on low because I've really created fluid fluidity here with the paint. Oh, yes. Gosh. I am making sure that I do have some gold running through there. Just a little bit. And always got to make sure that I put a little bit of white. Okay. Now I'm going to do the gold ring. Now, I, I've got this little plastic lid that I'm going to put my gold paint in. Oh, let me see. Well, it almost fits. Um, I'll just have to turn it. Maybe it'll fit better this way. No. Nope. So, I'm going to put paint in there like that. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, somebody's calling me and I hope, hopefully that isn't going to interfere. Ooh, it's sliding. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Just because I don't know exactly... That was my daughter. We have an issue about me babysitting. So she's going to call on the house phone now, but I have it turned off, so I don't have to worry about that. Let me move down to the purple, do over top.
Now I'm going to do another one. Man, it's dripping. I didn't want it to do that. Can I get... Whoa. Okay, let's try it. I don't even have any gold on there. I don't know why that didn't turn out. Okay, so let me just blow the pink off. Because I'm going to let it spread, but the second ring is not there. Let me see what I need to do. I think it's just because it it fell in. All right, I want to try this, set this again, I can just blow over it a little bit. I don't know why it's not coming out. I can always paint it. Do some embellishing. Guess I won't use this for cookies anymore, even though it's paint's not inside. It's kind of a mess. All right, now let's just go over it. I have to wait till it's dry before I can actually fix it, so. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Okay, my camera stopped. Video just went off. I had a phone call, so maybe that did it. I'm not sure, but um, I think when I looked at the, at the film, at, at the video, that we're pretty much where we were. I don't like the middle section at all. I have half a notion to scrape it. But I'm going to try and salvage. Um, I got the uh, purple off the edges. That helped me a little bit. But I have some really beautiful parts to this thing. So I, that's why I want to salvage it. I don't want to just scrape it and do it all over again I think I think it looks really nice um, of course it doesn't look like it's supposed to look I need to give it a couple of days maybe more to um, dry and then I'll fix those rings where it will look like it is um, going in and out and in and out up under over whatever so don't forget ladies and gentlemen scrape your well thanks edges. for joining me remember please give me a like thumbs up and subscribe hit the bell you know what to do um, if you're not a subscriber 
please know that this really helps my channel, which is going very slow. Um, so I'm just trying to get into doing some different things, more ideas, more elaborate, and I'm hoping that that works. So I'm just here for fun, retired, and just, I'm really just having a blast doing this. So, but I sure would like your support. And I'll see you next time when you come back and paint with me. Bye. Well, here's a shot of the painting completely dry. And I can see my mistakes. Um, the circle on this side got out around a little bit. So um, I was too afraid to fix it anymore for fear I'd just make it worse. So I'll pull back a little bit so you can see the pink. It started out pink, purple, and then went to blue. With it being over top of the circles in the center. Turn, didn't turn out too bad, so um, I will try it again with this little thing I got at the thrift store. Um, it's got a hole in the top of it, so it shouldn't have suction on it. And uh, that should keep that more round than it what I was using, it just ran off of it and it didn't um, show up. The gold didn't show up enough for me to follow the line and that's how it got out around. So, but it looks pretty good. Um, down the road, I hope to show it to you with resin. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget, thumbs up and support me with um, subscribe, hit the bell, and I hope you'll come back and paint with me. Bye.